It's the third talk in our series. I started it from November and I told you that we are not going to make any resolution on New Year Eve. Our resolutions are already made and we will make sure that the whole year we are working together to make sure that your most important things are accomplished. That is my mission for 2020. So I would say the title should be A New Year, New You. And 2020, you know what? There are 365 days. I will at least be with you 30 hours in the whole year. And I will make sure that whatever is needed for your personal growth, whatever is needed to create a life of significance, I will provide you. And best part is free of cost. So today onwards, you cannot claim that I do not have somebody who could have mentored me. I am available for you to mentor. Today, the topic which I have taken is a very crucial topic. The topic is so big that there are hundreds of books written on this topic which is known as time management. And I believe it's a crap to talk about that you can manage a time. Why? Because time is fixed. 24 hours cannot be modified. So if things cannot be modified, what can you manage? Neither there is a bank account of time. So the myth is around time management. Today, I will tell, let's not worry about time management. I would say the right word is priority management. Because if our priorities are clear, time is not a problem. All right. So let me start with asking few questions. Rather, I would say it's a possibility thinking which will make you effective in using your time. That's right what I would say. That's the reason last week we covered a topic of possibility thinking, which was covered on November 25th. If you have not gone through it till now, the first thing you should do is go through that video because that was having detailed analysis of your thinking. Your time is actually a concept of mind. It's a good rhyming word. I repeat again, time is a concept of mind. Let me ask you two questions. Typically, do you turn down an opportunity with an expensive and impulsive excuse? I'm too busy. I repeat again, do you turn down an opportunity with an expensive and impulsive excuse that I am busy? How many times have you turned down an opportunity saying I am busy? Today you know what, it has become a fashion to say that I am busy. Most of the people believe by saying this word they are accomplishing something great. You know what, my mentor told me one day, if you are saying you are busy, you are not the right person. Why is it like that? What are we busy in today? Most of us. If I see the world around, 90% people are busy just living a life. Whereas some people are creating impact on the world. So, do not make it a habit of telling I am busy. Second question let me ask you. Do you make a swift, destructive decision with the irresponsible excuse? I do not have time to think about it. People say, I don't have time to eat food. And I say, man, why do you need a poison? <laughs> man, you live a life. So these two questions are the foundation to our discussion. If you have this habit, then you need first to inculcate a possibility thinking mindset where time is a concept of mind.